Welcome back, folks. Welcome back to another video. My name is Kevin, K E V I N, all caps, at Kevin247. And uh, I had a email come through that I wanted to share with you guys. And what I'm going to do is please uh, ignore my finger on the screen. I got to turn them. I want to do. I want. What I want to do is, uh, is is send a thank you to Christy for sending me this email. I really do appreciate it. Thank you all so much for all the emails you send. I try to get to them as quickly, and as promptly as possible to bringing you guys this information, these updates. But this one here is very important, uh, specifically about the money, our money, your money, the future of money, the dollar as we know it, fiat currency. The potential impacts to precious metals, hard assets like gold, silver, platinum, but more so importantly, the future of CBDC, central bank digital currency, and uh, what that really means. It doesn't just mean that we're moving away from paper money. It means that we're moving into an, a, a digital age of surveillance and oversight from, from Big Brother. So uh, if you're all for that, then by all means, quit watching this video because this is not going to be the video for you but if you're like me and you're saying to yourself nah i don't i don't want that i didn't ask for that i didn't vote for that then by all means please give this video a like and uh let's go ahead and jump into this press release from tom emmer it's actually from emmer.house.gov and he's serving minnesota's sixth district and it says this is a press release asterisk for all press release inquiries please reach out to Teresa Meyer, but Emmer leads effort to squash financial surveillance state initiatives. This was released February 23, 2023, Washington, D.C. This week, Majority Whip Tom Emmer introduced the CBDC Anti-Surveillance Act to halt efforts of unelected bureaucrats in Washington, D.C. from issuing a central bank digital currency or a CBDC. And that would strip Americans of their right to financial privacy. The bill also holds the Federal Reserve's CBDC research and development programs accountable to the American people. The bill was co-sponsored by Republican colleagues, Representatives French Hill, Warren Davidson, Mike Flood, Byron Donalds, Pete Sessions, Andy Biggs, Young Kim, Ralph Norman, and Barry Loudermilk. Emmer said, and I quote, any digital version of the dollar must uphold our American values of privacy, individual sovereignty, and free market competitiveness. And anything less opens the door to the development of a dangerous surveillance tool. After all, America remains a technological leader not because we force innovations to adapt our values under regulatory duress, but because we allow technology that holds these values at their core to flourish. End quote. Now, Representative Hill said, as chairman of the Financial Services Subcommittee on Digital Assets, Financial Technology and Inclusion, it is my top priority to protect people's privacy and their data. When it comes to consideration and design of any possible U.S. central bank digital currency or CBDC, the federal government cannot and does not have the authority to issue a CBDC directly to individuals without explicit congressional approval. And I am proud to co-sponsor the CBDC Anti-Surveillance State Act, led by my colleague Whip Emmer, which will protect the financial privacy of individuals, their civil liberties, and stop efforts of federal overreach to, to surveil Americans, folks. And this is yet another reason why so many are choosing to get further invested if not begin to invest in precious metals hard assets physical gold physical silver why because the government can't track that now it says here according to representative davidson the fed must focus on its dual mandate rather than eradicating financial autonomy a retail cbdc would essentially allow the government to mediate all transactions which would mirror what we see in china it's vital to ensure this does not happen here in the United States of America. Representative Flood said, In a digital age, cryptocurrency represents new economic opportunities for America, but it's critical for private sector innovators to take the lead. The American dollar has long been a symbol of prosperity and freedom, and our digital currencies should be the same. The Chinese Communist Party's move to use government-run digital currency to impose further control on its people and its economy is a cautionary tale that America must avoid. 
The CBDC Anti-Surveillance State Act is a key step towards ensuring that Americans maintain their freedom, their financial freedom more importantly, by prohibiting a centrally controlled digital currency as our economy continues to innovate in the area of digital assets. That's, that's a lot, folks. I mean, there's way more to cover here, but that's a lot because literally, basically, what it boils down to is do you want to allow our government to shift and manipulate us to operate under a similar political ordinance, restrictions, laws like China? Republican, or I'm sorry, Representative Donalds said that as the Federal Reserve continues its study of central bank digital currencies, one thing has become clear. CBDCs pose a clear threat to Americans' financial independence. Rather than following the lead of oppressive regimes like China and Russia, we should dramatically decrease the federal government's involvement in personal finances and look to the free market to guide the way regarding innovation. And that's why I'm proud to support Congressman Emmer's CBDC Anti-Surveillance State Act, which prevents the issuance of a retail CBDC and ensures the Fed stays within its statutory bounds. But here's the problem. And this is not me taking a jab at anyone who relies on the government for aid, for stimulus, for assistance, for any form of government funded handout. It's not. However, the problem is they have conditioned so many to adopt and abide by these government programs to keep them afloat while also keeping them down and preventing them from excelling and emerging from these programs only to rely on them every single day, every single week, every single month, every single year, perhaps maybe even generation after generation. These are going to be the folks that are going to more than likely stand in line, cast their vote, raise their hand, vote yay on CBDC. Why? Because it will allow them to receive their benefits. Not necessarily understanding and realizing the implications of their actions and just how dangerous and detrimental this will be to us all. Now, it says that the U.S. government cannot move to issue a digital dollar without an act of Congress. And before that happens, Congress must first be completely certain a digital dollar can never be used as a surveillance tool. And that's why I'm an original co-sponsor of Whip Emmer's bill, said Congressman Pete Sessions. I am also very concerned that a digital dollar would fundamentally reshape the banking industry to the detriment of consumers and the economy. Therefore, Congress must fully consider the negative and unintended consequences that could result from issuing a digital dollar, which I look forward to working with Whip on, or I'm sorry, on with Whip Emmer together on these very important issues in the House Financial Services Committee. Congressman Andy Biggs says that I applaud Congressman Emmer's latest efforts to protect the financial privacy and currency of millions of Americans. A government-run digital currency presents a real threat to Americans' freedom to use their hard-earned money and fundamentally to the value of that money. Emmer's bill ends this threat before it can begin. Folks, please do all you can to help make sure that this does not happen. We need to be working with and alongside Tom Emmer to support and block, slam this CBDC initiative and proposal before it becomes a problem, before it's too late. From big tech censorship to COVID mandates to now regulating digital currencies, unelected bureaucrats continue to push our nation toward an authoritarian state. This rogue behavior must stop and this legislation gets us closer to achieving that, according to Biggs. One of my primary concerns, according to Representative Loudermilk, is that the federal government is its constant push to expand the way it invades and collects information on the American people. And the Federal Reserve's push to develop a central bank digital currency would allow the Fed to track an individual's transactions indefinitely. Given the economy uncertainty, or I'm sorry, given the economic uncertainty many Americans are facing, the Federal Reserve should be focused on its core mission of keeping prices stable and ensuring maximum employment, not exploring digital currencies without congressional input or approval. 
Now, what do you guys think? Comment down below. Innovation is the key to unlocking America's economic future, Republic, or Representative Kim said. Now, I'm proud to join Whip Emmer to introduce the CBDC Anti-Surveillance State Act to prohibit the Federal Reserve from offering central bank digital currency directly to individuals, allowing the federal government to monitor everyday financial transactions. I'll keep working to promote financial freedom and economic empowerment for all Americans. While Re Representative Norman said we have enough problems with abusive government surveillance without the Federal Reserve becoming an instrument to possibly monitor and scrutinize individual account holders and their transactions. CBDC would create significant privacy concerns for Americans. So I want to thank Republican or I'm sorry, Representative Emmer for his leadership on this important legislation. Specifically, the legislation prohibits the Federal Reserve from using or issuing a CBDC directly to an individual, mobilizing itself into a retail bank able to collect personal information on all Americans, and the bill also bars the Federal Reserve from using any CBDC to implement monetary policy, ensuring the Federal Reserve cannot use a CBDC as a tool to control the economy. Additionally, it requires that the Federal Reserve Board of Governors consult each Federal Reserve bank and the development of a CBDC study or pilot program and issue of a quarterly report to Congress on their progress and findings is required. The federal government must be held accountable to the American people. Wouldn't you agree? Now, Emmer has been a longtime advocate that any Fed-issued digital dollar or central bank digital dollar or e-dollar remain open, permissionless and private. The CBDC Anti-Surveillance State Act expands upon Emmer's bill from the 117th Congress, which would have also prohibited the Fed's direct issuance of a CBDC to individuals. Additionally, in December, Emmer led a letter with House Financial Service Committee Chairman Patrick McHenry seeking transparency from the Boston Fed on Project Hamilton on the private sector role in the project. Project Hamilton is an initiative between the Boston Fed and MIT to research the potential development of a U.S. CBDC and the private sector's role must be transparent. No government body should be in the business of picking winners and losers in private industry. Additionally, information about this effort can be shared with you guys on a future video if you're interested. Just comment down below and let me know. But there's some strong implications here from Executive Order 14067 pushed by the current Biden administration to get CBDC rolled out, which as you can see here, or at least have heard from what information I've shared with you from emmer.house.gov, we are literally on the verge of seeing the government have big brother control, a uh, enemy of the state like control, a minority report like peak look into our lives every single day component aspect every penny every transaction every move you make would be tracked traceable and or dictated and directed this is not inclusion folks this is oppression this is very very alarming very concerning a huge warning urgent news urgent update and i hope you guys are paying attention now with that being said, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free, drop them down below. As always, there are 100% free links in the description, as well as information for those who are concerned about this economic storm and how your IRA and 401k will fare during these turbulent times. Folks, top experts are predicting now is the time to be protecting your assets with physical gold and silver. So find out why. Genesis Gold Group is your number one recommended company by your favorite YouTube content creators in the financial space preparing for this economic shift, this change, this redirection, this oversight, this takeover, this wipeout. Folks, receive your free Genesis Gold Group free definitive gold guide today. It takes less than 15 seconds or give them a call 1-800-200-GOLD, 1-800-200-4653. Jonathan and David will take great care of you. You can check them out online at www.genesisgoldgroup.com. Until next time, you guys take care. Be safe. I'll see you real soon.